We are back in session. It is 11.30, and we are now on item 86. Christine, could you present that item for us today? Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Mm -hmm. Tab 86 is an allocation request for 18361000 in traffic light synchronization program funds for the locally administered City of Los Angeles automated traffic surveillance and control enhancement for the Advancement Transportation Infrastructure Project off the state highway system in Los Angeles County, programmed in fiscal years 2021. Staff has reviewed the request and the item is consistent with the traffic light synchronization program guidelines. Staff recommend your approval of tab 86. Okay, thank you. Are there any public comment items? No. And uh, commissioners, are there any questions you may have on this item? Motion to approve Martinez. Okay, thank you, Commissioner Martinez. Nope. Second. Is there a second on this item, I'll commissioners? Second. Alvarado, second. Thank you, Commissioner. I'll second. Oh, thank you, Commissioner Alvarado. Uh, we have a motion by Martinez and seconded by Alvarado. Douglas, could you please do the roll? Commissioner Alvarado. Yes, sir. Commissioner Burke. Burke. Commissioner Davis. Aye. Commissioner Eager. Aye. Commissioner Guardino. Aye. Commissioner Inman. Commissioner Kehoe. Commissioner Liu. Aye. Commissioner Martinez. Aye. Commissioner Tavoloni. Commissioner Burke, are you back with us? Yes. Thank you. Aye. Chair Norton. Aye. Chair, the item is approved. Thank you. We will now take items 87 and 88 together. Kayla, could you present those items? Yes. Good morning, commissioners. Tabs 87 and 88 are action items for allocation requests. Tab 87 is an allocation request. Please note on the change list that project number two new mid county parkway phase two has been withdrawn this allocation request now totals two million one hundred and forty thousand in local partnership formulaic program funds for two locally administered projects off the state highway system in monterey and merced counties programmed in fiscal years 18 19 and 2021 tab 88 is an allocation request for two million in local partnership formulaic program funds for the locally administered Sam Trans Express Bus Pilot Transit Project in San Mateo County, programmed in fiscal year 1920. This project will purchase seven battery electric buses for a new network of four express bus routes on US 101, serving San Mateo, Santa Clara, and San Francisco counties. The buses and routes will offer long haul express service during peak commute times. Staff has reviewed the requests and the items are consistent with the local partnership program guidelines. Therefore, staff recommends your approval of tabs 87 and 88 and the noted changes for tab 87 reflected on the change list. Thank you very much. With that amendment, could we entertain a motion for 87 and 88? I'll move. Move. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's great. Uh, Commissioner, Lou moves and Commissioner Burke seconds. Douglas, could you please read the roll? Commissioner Alvarado? Yes, sir. Commissioner Burke? Aye. Commissioner Davis? Aye. Commissioner Eager? Aye. Commissioner Guardino? Aye. Commissioner Inman? Commissioner Kehoe? Commissioner Liu? Aye. Commissioner Martinez? Aye. Commissioner Tavoloni? Chair Norton? Aye. Chair, the item is approved. Thank you. And now we'll move to item 89 on the Trade Corridor Enhancement Program. Could you please present this item, Hannah? Good morning, Commissioners. Tab 89 is an allocation request from the City of Moreno Valley. Um, they're requesting $16.8 million for construction of a project in Riverside that replaces a 50-year-old bridge and makes other improvements. 
Our guidelines allow applicants to request additional time for project delivery at the time of allocation. And that's what the city is doing. They're requesting an additional eight months um, for planting and irrigation of some plants that are part of the landscaping for their project. Uh, the request is consistent with the guidelines and staff recommends approval. Thank you very much. Uh, seeing that there's no public comment on this item and there are no questions from the uh, commissioners, do we have a motion on this item? Motion to approve Martinez. Move the uh, thank you, Commissioner Davis, for moving and uh, for seconding Commissioner Martinez. Uh, Douglas, could you please read the roll? Commissioner Alvarado. Yes, sir. Commissioner Burke. Aye. Commissioner Davis. Aye. Commissioner Eager. Aye. Commissioner Guardino. Aye. Commissioner Inman. Commissioner Kehoe. Commissioner Liu. Aye. Commissioner Martinez. Aye. Commissioner Tavaloni. Chair Norton. Aye. Chair, the item is approved. Thank you very much. And now we're going to take items 90 and 91 together as presented by Lori Waters. Lori? Yes, commissioners. Items 90 and 91 are action items and will be taken together. There are a few changes for these allocations noted on the change list. Specifically, Project 10 from item 90 has been withdrawn and Project 15 from item 90 has received the right-of-way certification. With those changes noted, item 90 is to approve an allocation of 17,069,000 to 28 projects. And item 91 is to approve an advance allocation of 596,000 to the US 101 State Street Undercrossing Active Transportation Improvements Project in Santa Barbara County, programmed in fiscal year 21-22. Staff has reviewed these requests. They are consistent with ATP guidelines in the approved program. And therefore, staff recommend your approval. Well, thank you very much. Seeing that there's no public comment, uh, commissioners, do you have any comments on this item? These two items, 91. Seeing none, we could entertain a motion to approve. Moved by Lou. Do we have a second? A second. Burke. Thank you, Commissioner Burke. Uh, Douglas, could you please read the roll? Commissioner Alvarado. Yes, sir. Commissioner Burke. Burke. Aye. Commissioner Davis. Aye. Commissioner Eager. Aye. Commissioner Gordino. Aye. Commissioner Inman. Commissioner Kehoe. Commissioner Liu. Aye. Commissioner Martinez. Aye. Mr. Tavalona. Chair Norton. Aye. Chair, the item is approved. Thank you very much. Now we're on to item 92, and that's the TARCP allocations. Casey? Commissioners, Task 92 is an action item to allocate 81173000 to six TIRCP projects awarded in the 2018 and 2020 programs. Staff has reviewed these requests and finds them consistent with the program update under tab 40. Okay. Thank you very much. Is there any public comment on this item? Okay. And now, if could someone make a motion to approve? Alvarado moves to approval. Thank you. Do we have a Mr. second? Davis, second. Thank you very much, Mr. Mr. Davis. Davis. Wonderful. Uh, Douglas, please do the roll. Commissioner Alvarado. Alvarado. Yes. Commissioner Burke. Aye. Commissioner Davis. Aye. Commissioner Eager. Aye. Commissioner Gordino. Aye. Commissioner Inman. Commissioner Kehoe. Commissioner Liu. Aye. Commissioner Martinez. Aye. Commissioner Martinez. Aye. Thank you. Commissioner Tavaloni. Chair Norton. Aye. Chair, the item is approved. Thank you very much. And now we are going to be taking 
items 94 to 102 together. Uh, could you start us off, Matthew, with item 94? Uh, good morning, uh, Madam Chair. I believe we skipped 93. Um, oh, yes, I'm so sorry. Yes, item 93, no. the Railroad Grade Crossing Protection Maintenance Program. Uh, Casey, would you mind presenting that item for us? Yes, thank you. Tab 93 is an action item for the Railroad Grade Crossing Protect Protection Maintenance Program. Public Utility Code Section 1231.1 requires a commission to allocate an annual lump sum request for the Public Utilities Commission for their Railroad Grade Crossing Protection Maintenance Program for fiscal year 21-22 of 3750000 Staff had re has reviewed these requests and finds them consistent with statute. Staff recommends your approval of tab 93. Thank you very much. Uh, seeing that there's no public comment on this item and that we have no comments from commissioners on this item. Could we entertain a motion to support? This is this is Commissioner Guardino. I move uh, item 93. Second, Martinez. Thank you very much. Douglas, could you please read the roll? Commissioner Alvarado. Yes. Commissioner Burke. Aye. Commissioner Davis. Aye. Commissioner Eager. Aye. Commissioner Guardino. Aye. Mr. Inman. Mr. Kehoe. Aye. Mr. Liu. Sorry. Aye. Thank you. Commissioner Martinez. Aye. Commissioner Tavoloni. Chair Norton. Aye. Chair, the item is approved. Thank you. Now we will go to items 94 to 102. And uh, Matthew, could you lead us off today? Yes, absolutely. Uh, good morning, Madam Chair and Commissioners. I would like to note that items uh, 94 through 102 are each action items and will be presented separately but voted on together following the presentation of item 102. Uh, item 94 is an action item to approve a project allocation time extension for one Solutions for a Congested Corridors Project, the Gold Line Light Rail Improvements Project in Sacramento County. Staff recommends extending the period of project allocation by 11 months uh, from December 31st, 2020 to October 31st, 2021, in accordance with the adopted interim timely use of funds uh, policy amendment. Staff recommends your approval once the vote is taken. Thank you. Item 95, Elika. Commissioners, and then tab 95 is an action item to consider project allocation extensions for 47 projects in the active transportation program. This request is consistent with ATP guidelines as shown in the yellow time extension table. Tab 96 is an action item to consider project allocation extensions for two projects in the active transportation program. This request is consistent with ATP guidelines as shown in the yellow time extension table. Staff recommends approval of tabs 95 and 96 after the remainder of the items are presented. Thank you. And I see that we have no public comment on 95 nor 96. Thank you very much, Elika. And if we could move to 97, if there are no comments from the commissioners. Uh, and that's Christine Gordon for 97 and 98. Yes, tab 97 is an action item to approve a project allocation time extension request for one local partnership competitive program project, La Cañada, Flint Ridge Sound Walls project in Los Angeles County. Staff recommends extending the time extension period to 20 months in accordance with the adopted interim timely use of funds policy amendment. There is a support letter for this item which is provided as a peak. Tab 98 is an action item to approve project allocation time extension requests for five local partnership competitive program projects in Sacramento, Monterey, San Bernardino, and San Diego counties. In accordance with the adopted timely use of funds policy amendment, staff recommends extending the time extension period to 20 months for projects number one, two, three, and four. Staff has reviewed the time extension request the items are consistent with the local partnership program guidelines and the adopted interim timely use of funds policy amendment. Therefore, staff recommends your approval of tabs 97 and 98 at the end of the um, presentations. 
Thank you very much, Christine. And I see that we also have no public comment on 97 nor 98 and no requests to speak from commissioners. Thank you. So with that, um, could we move to Anya's items 99 and 100? Yes, commissioners, tab 99 is an action item to approve a project allocation time extension request for one local partnership formulaic program project. The Turner Interchange Operational Improvement Project in San Joaquin County. Staff recommends approving the 12 month time extension request to allocate construction. Tab 100 is an action item to approve project allocation time extension request for one local partnership formula program project, the Avenue 7 Road Rehabilitation West of State Route 99 project in Madeira County. The County of Madeira is requesting a six month time extension to allocate construction. However, due to the delays, the nature of the delays, staff recommends approving a 12 month extension for this project. Staff has reviewed the time extension requests and these um, they are consistent with the local partnership program guidelines and also the adopted interim timely use of funds policy amendment. Um, at the end of all the presentations, staff does recommend your approval of tabs 99 and 100 as shown on the yellow time extension table. Thank you very much, Anya. And I see that we have no public comment requests for 99 or 100 and no requests from the commissioners to speak. Now we'll move to items 101 and 102. Michael. Good morning, commissioners. Uh, tab 101 is a request to extend the period of allocation for the 10th Avenue Marine Terminal Beyond Compliance Environmental Enhancement Project by 12 months from December 2020 to December 2021. This project was programmed $4.9 million in trade quarter enhancement program construction funds for a barge-based vessel emissions capture system in the San Diego Bay at the 10th Avenue Marine Terminal. These, there were unforeseen operating costs associated with this system and the port needs more time to collaborate with CTC staff and Caltrans regarding a potential lease of the system rather than a purchase as originally planned. This is consistent with program guidelines and staff recommends approval. Item 102 is a request to extend the allocation period for 20 months from December 2020 to August 2022 for the Montebello Boulevard grade separation project. The commission programmed $49 million in trade quarter enhancement program construction funds in fiscal year 2019-2020 for construction of this grade separation. The San Gabriel Valley Council of Governments originally submitted 35% design to Union Pacific Railroad for review in 2018. However, there was an issue with the spur line adjustment and the agency did not receive final direction from Union Pacific regarding this issue until July of 2020. Once the final design is submitted to Union Pacific and the agency anticipates submitting final design this month, the review process normally takes about six months. However, due to the impacts of COVID-19, including layoffs, Union Pacific's review can take longer. SGV Kong has completed environmental clearance and right-of-way certification, and this time extension is requested to ensure all agreements can be finalized prior to construction. If this time extension is granted, staff also recommends that the $18,851,000 in trade quarter improvement funds allocated for construction on this project also be extended through August of 2022, consistent with the interim timely use of funds policy. This request is consistent with TSEP guidelines and the interim time, timely use of funds policy and staff recommends approval. I'll now Thanks. also state that since the previous tabs were taken together, that staff recommends your approval of tabs 94 through 102 as presented in each item. Thank you so much. And I just wanna confirm that we have no public comment on 101 or 102 and no request from commissioners to speak on those items. So could we have a motion on items 94 to 102? I move to accept staff recommendations on 94 through 102. Thank you, Commissioner Alvarado, Thank you, Commissioner Alvarado. Douglas, could you please read the roll? Commissioner Alvarado. Yes. Commissioner Burke. Aye. Commissioner Davis. Aye. Commissioner Eager. Aye. Commissioner Guardino. Aye. Commissioner Inman. Commissioner Kehoe. Aye. Commissioner Liu. Aye. Commissioner Martinez. Aye. Commissioner Tavoloni. Chair Norton. Aye. Aye. Here the item is approved. 
Thank you very much. We'll take tabs 103 and 104 together. These are contract award time extensions. Ritesh, could you please lead us off? Yes, thank you, Chair Norton. Commissioners, item 103 is an action item requesting to extend the period of contract award for one shot project. The one project is requesting an additional three months to award its contract. Please note the change list for the removal of project number one, which was awarded prior to this meeting. Okay, thank you very much. Seeing no public comment or no uh, commissioner comments, we'll move to item 104. Elika? Commissioners, yes. Commissioners, tab 104 is an action item to consider contract award extensions for two projects in the active transportation program. This request is consistent with ATP guidelines as shown in the yellow time extension table. And uh, commissioner's staff recommends approval of tabs 103 and 104 as shown in the yellow time extension table. Thank you very much. Seeing no public comment and no commissioner comments and questions, if we could entertain a motion for 103 and 104. I move 103, Thank 104. Blue seconds. Thank you. Douglas, could you please read the roll? Yes. Aye. 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 I can't hear the roll, uh, Hillary. This is Commissioner Inman. Can you hear Douglas now? Yeah. Commissioner Kehoe. Aye. Thank you. Commissioner Liu. Aye. Thank you. Commissioner Martinez. Aye. Commissioner Tavoloni. Chair Norton. Aye. Chair, the item is approved. Thank you. And now we move to tabs 105 and 107 taken together. Um, Gertez, could you lead us off, please? Yes, thank you again, Chair Norton. Commissioners, item 105 is an action item requesting to extend the period of project completion for four shop projects. The four projects are requesting additional time for construction support to allow enough time to complete construction and finalize construction closeout. The four projects are requesting five, 12, 16, and 15 months, respectively. Thank you. And no public comment on item 105. And, uh, Gertez, your recommendation on item 105? Okay. Sorry, we uh, recommend approval. Thank you very much. And uh, now to item 106, Casey. Tab 106 is an action item to consider a 20 month project completion time extension through October 2022 for project 2016 7 in the Transit and Intercity Rail Capital Program. Staff has reviewed this request and finds it consistent with the TIRCP allocation plan and interim timely use of funds policy. Thank you, and staff recommendation? We recommend approval. Thank you very much. Uh, and there is no public comment on that item. And we'll now move to item 107, Elika. Commissioners, tab 107 is an action item to consider project project completion extensions for five projects in the active transportation program. This request is consistent with ATP guidelines as shown in the yellow time extension table. Commissioners, staff recommends approval of tabs 105, 106, and 107 as shown in the yellow time extension table. Thank you very much, Elika. And there's no public comment on those items, nor comments from the commissioners. So if we could entertain a motion. Commissioner? I'll move. Uh, I'll move. Thank you. I'll move. Sorry. Thank you, Commissioner Burke and Commissioner Davis. If you could I'll please say. read the roll, Douglas. Okay. Commissioner Alvarado. Yes. Commissioner Burke. Aye. Commissioner Davis. Aye. Commissioner Eager. Aye. Commissioner Guardino. Commissioner Guardino. Aye. Thank you. Commissioner Inman. Commissioner Kehoe. Aye. 
Commissioner Liu. Aye. Commissioner Martinez. Aye. Mr. Tavoloni. Chair Norton. Aye. Aye. The item is approved. Thank you. We're now moving to item 108, uh, project development expenditure time extensions. Dritesh. Thank you. Commissioners, item 108 is an action item to extend the period of project development expenditure for six shop projects. The six projects are requesting additional time to complete the PA and ED and PSNE phases in the amount of six, three, 12, 20, four, and two months, respectively. Staff has reviewed this project development time extension item and recommends approval as shown on the time extension table that was included with the additional materials distributed on November 25th, 2020. Thank you very much. And to approve. We see that there is no public comment on this item, nor commissioner questions. Commissioner Alvarado. Motion to approve. Thank you very much. Um, do we have a second? Second. Thank you very much. Douglas, can you please do the roll? Commissioner Alvarado. Yes. Mr. Burke. Aye. Mr. Davis. Aye. Mr. Eager. Aye. Mr. Cordino. Aye. Mr. Enman. Mr. Kehoe. Sorry, I'm I'm an I. Kehoe's an I. Thank you, Commissioner Liu. Aye. Commissioner Martinez. Aye. Mr. Tavoloni. Chair Norton. Aye. Chair, the item is approved. Thank you, Commissioners. These are our last items for today. Um, we are going to take items 109 to 112 together. Uh, Gertesh, could you please us lead us off with item 109? Yes, I can. Commissioners, item 109 is an action item to amend previously approved time extensions for two shop projects. The two projects are requesting an additional five and six months, respectively, in addition to the previously approved time extension amounts of six and six months, respectively. These amendments to previously approved time extensions are a direct effect of the COVID-19 pandemic. As was heard yesterday during the presentation of tab number 21, the 2020 interim timely use of funds policy expiration date was amended to June 30th, 2021, which will continue to allow amendments to previously approved time extensions. Also, please note the change list for revisions to the description of project number two in the attachment. Staff uh, has reviewed this item and recommends approval. Thank you very much. And seeing that we have no public comment on this item, uh, can we move to item 110, Elika? Yes. Commissioners, tab 110 is an action item to consider amending project allocation time extensions for 14 projects in the active transportation program. This request is consistent with the interim timely use of funds policy as shown in the yellow time extension table. Tab 111. And, mm -hmm. Excuse me. Go ahead. Oh, and tab 111, Elika? Yes. Tab 111 is an action item to consider amending project development expenditure time extensions for one project in the active transportation program. This request is consistent with the interim timely use of funds policy as shown in the yellow time extension table. Thank you very much. And tab, uh, tab 112, we see that no public comment on any of these items. Okay. Tab 112 is an action item to consider a post fact request to amend the period of a project completion time extension for one project in the active transportation program. The city of Compton has been significantly impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, therefore staff recommends approval. Commissioners, staff recommends approval of tabs 109, 110, 111, and 112 as shown in the yellow time extension table. Thank you very much, Elika. And with that, we'd like to entertain a motion. Commissioners? Alvarado moves forward. Thank you very much. Do we have a second? Burke seconds. Thank you very much, Commissioner Burke. Douglas, could you please read the roll? Commissioner Alvarado. Alvarado. Yes. Commissioner Burke. Burke. Aye. Commissioner Davis. Davis. Aye. Commissioner Eager. Aye. Commissioner Guardino. Aye. Mr. Enman. 
Mr. Kehoe. Aye. Mr. Liu. Aye. Mr. Martinez. Aye. Mr. Tavoloni. Chair North. Aye. Chair the other. Thank you very much, commissioners. Um, that concludes our um, items for approval today. We have some other matters, and we did ask uh, Terry to come back so that we could say a few words as this is her last meeting. Terry, are you on? Of course I am. I would never leave. <laughs> <laughs> that, I just did, I did want to announce that we have no public comment to conclude our meeting. So, um, Terry, I just wanted to open it up for commissioners to um, really express our gratitude to you. And um, I'll go last, but I was wondering if um, Commissioner Inman is on the phone because she specifically, even though she's being evacuated, asked to call back into the meeting in order to say something about you. Douglas, do you have uh, Commissioner Inman on the line? I know while you're waiting tried. for while you're waiting for her, can I just say I appreciate um, Commissioner Alvarado's comments earlier. Um, I will say it's a stark contrast from the other memory I have of what he said to me at the first meeting that I had to do most of the items. It was Stephen's last meeting, and I think there was like 12 or 15 supplementals. And after the meeting, I went up and he told me, he said, next time you need to be meaner. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't know if I accomplished that or not, but <laughs> I, I will always remember that. <laughs> well, Terry, I just wanted to say um, that it is such a pleasure to work with you. And especially as a female engineer, I think you have really been the epitome of a, an oversight and an expert and your ability to um, take the thorniest issues and research them and to make sure that everybody comes to the table with um, a good solution has been just stellar. And we really want to thank you for your dedication to the CTC and to your work everywhere and your inspiration to women who are seeking careers in engineering and thinking about what their next role would be. And so I thank you for also being a great mentor to other women on staff and to, again, being that um, opportunity for other women to see what women engineers are doing and how you are handling important jobs like this with such class and charm. I appreciate that. Thank you. And and I'll say, um, you know, the one thing too that most people don't get to see is how amazing the commissioners are. And Commissioner Inman is a good example of that. Um, most of you know my daughter had um, our first grandson, and the baby was born three and a half three and a half months premature while she was stationed in Japan in the middle of a pandemic. And um, there was some concerns early on with some of the medical. Um, care she was getting at the time and some questions and and Commissioner Inman has some good connections with some some medical folks and she hooked us up with some people who were able to talk to my daughter about some things so um, it's it really is a family at the CTC and and I will definitely miss the family aspect of it so um, but I am looking forward to riding the great Redwoods Trail someday on my new e-bike so I will be definitely <laughs> looking forward to that. That's great. Uh, other commissioners and Mitch, uh, would you like to say a few words before we end? Sure. Uh, I, oh, I'm I, sorry. I, earlier, I, I said uh, some words about Terry, and, and I would just like to suggest that, uh, that we adjourn this meeting in honor of uh, Terry Anderson's service to the commission. Hmm, thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, other commissioners? If I, work, I would like to say thank you, Terry. And you work so hard and you have such expertise. And, and she does all kinds of things. I remember her offering to drive me from <laughs> Sacramento. <laughs> and uh, I appreciate all your help and yeah. all of the hard work you put in and your expertise. And I hope you don't stop. I hope you continue to be involved in these issues you know so much about. Oh, thank you. 
I think I will be a little bit. I'll be a little bit. They call well. I call myself the Doyen, and if you if look that up someday, but I'm the Doyen with the engineering team, and so I will always be there whenever they are looking for a little bit of advice from the Doyen. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. A lot, a lot. Thank you. Other commissioners. Um, Mitch, I know you want to say a few yeah. words. Well, um, I just. Uh, I want to thank Terry for uh, all our hard work. Uh, yeah, we, we can't hear you, Mitch, but that's not unnormal in the COVID days. <laughs> better. She always had a nice way of shutting us up. Is that better? Anything? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, now we can hear you. Well, that concludes my remarks. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, uh, Terry, I was just uh, reminiscing how at some point uh, you uh, you told me, I, you, you nicely told me I, I, I may be better at uh, hiring uh, staff than hiring managers. Uh, and uh, I'd like to say that you are a demonstration that maybe I'm learning and I'm improving. <laughs> Uh, I really appreciate everything you've done for the commission. Um, I also want to take uh, take a moment to acknowledge uh, a couple of people who uh, have retired, who are not on, on the on the meeting virtually. Don Chesser, who has done so much for the commission. Don, when uh, SB one passed, had the trade corridor program dropped to her lap, and really did a a great job of of create you know helping to create that program that was our first um, ongoing freight program that we that we've had and uh, also again uh, george spanos who uh was a, a retired annuitant our attorney who has uh just did a a lot for us and was always uh available so uh i would really like to thank all three of them for the the tremendous work that they've done they will all be greatly missed well thank you very much Mitch. are there any other commissioners who wish to speak I just was informed Don's on. Does Don want to turn her camera on? <laughs> We're going to move her down to panelists so she can turn on her camera. <laughs> Commissioner, well, Don is getting on. I just wanted to make sure that we adjourn, knowing that when before we adjourn, that this meeting we have allocated two billion dollars worth of projects that will create a hundred thousand jobs just in this meeting and as our annual report highlighted we in 2020 we have allocated 22 billion dollars worth of infrastructure projects and over the life of sb1 with the allocations we've made today it has meant 350,000 jobs and as we have gotten the presentation that we did from Kiana and company, we know what kind of economic stimulus this means. And so I just wanted to thank you all for your diligence and for the staff's work and mit to make this possible, especially in a year like 2020, when we need some good news and we definitely need some economic stimulus. This has really been that kind of stimulus package. So thank you all for your great work. And I'm hoping that uh, Dawn is now with us so we can say a few words to her as well. So uh, Dawn uh, let me know that she is driving. So I appreciate her commitment to safety by not taking a, a video <laughs> call while driving. <laughs> all right. Well, with that, everyone, we are gonna adjourn uh, 51 minutes early since I took 51 minutes of your time additional last night. So we are adjourned. Thank you. Great.